Welcome to Take 5, your 5-minute five inspiration message from Solid Rock Drogada. We know the story of Naaman in the book of 2 Kings, chapter 5. He was a great commander in the army of the king of Syria who suffered from leprosy. Now, when he went to see the prophet Elisha to be healed of leprosy, the prophet simply told him to go wash seven times in the river Jordan, something he did not really appreciate. He was furious. He took the insistence of Gehazi, Elisha's servant, for him to accept. And Naaman was healed completely of his leprosy. But there is another character in this story that is often overlooked. It is the account of a young Israelite girl captured during a Syrian raid who was taken away from her family and forced into servitude. The Bible speaks of a little girl. So, we imagine that she was very, very young. It must have been a traumatic experience. We can imagine, you know, the bitterness, the anger, the spirit of revenge, etc. But none of that happened. When she learned that her master had contracted leprosy, she, without hesitation, encouraged him, you know, to seek healing from the Lord, even directing him to someone who could help him. 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 3. So, we can ask ourselves, how could she have such compassion? She was ready to do something to ease her master's pain. She forgot her whole experience and found the strength to look at her master with compassion. See, the suffering that God allows in our lives equips us to comfort others in their trials. And this is only possible because of the great comfort we receive from the Lord in the midst of our own affliction. Indeed, with love, tenderness, and mercy, the Lord Jesus prepares and equips us specifically, you know, so that we can in turn comfort those who are in affliction. We must therefore, you know, be very careful that our experiences, you know, however difficult they may be, do not transform us into a hateful person filled with bitterness and anger, a desire, you know, for revenge, etc. Because to have a heart full of compassion, we must fight against these bad seeds. Therefore, it is with gentleness, you know, and with tears that we can bring comfort to others in their suffering. Like this young Israelite, you know, we need to direct our suffering to Jesus Christ himself. Amen? Because only the Lord can understand and fully identify with our pain in order to bring us the healing we need. He is our king. He is our great high priest who intercedes for us to the Father. Amen? Hallelujah. I encourage you today to, to lay all your burdens at the feet of our Lord. 
and ask him to remove all trauma caused by the difficult trials of life. And he, you know, in turn will comfort us and our hearts will be free to help our brothers and sisters, our neighbors. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray you were encouraged today. Be blessed and remain in the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you and join us next time for another Take 5. God bless.